billed as one of the biggest royal scoops of all time. The sit-down interview with, of course, the Duke of York, His Royal Highness Prince Andrew, on the BBC's Newsnight. Now the fallout as well decided to make two programmes out of it, two docudramas as they're called. Told you before about these particular individual shows because both blonde now fallen out and their version of events really does differ from each other. But here's where it gets really interesting and some say could even be litigious. Let me explain. Morning, lovely to see you today and as ever thank you so much for your company. We'll have a quick wave. Beautiful setting here isn't it? Tranquil, just exactly what you need at this time of year. Spring has sprung, all of that sort of stuff. Well not with me obviously, as you can see, but um, you try and get there in the end don't you? Somebody was showing me the other day about this stuff that you can get from one of those health stores and they said oh you know if you put a couple of drops under your tongue you know you wake up and you feel so full of vim and vigour I thought need a bottle, need three, but you know there you go. I love these things the way they tell you, oh I have no problem, no, and I thought well you look like Deputy Dog with all the bags under your eyes, how come it's not doing that much for you? Kept it up though of course, you know you don't like to offend do you? Now back as ever to your royal story of the day, people are offended of course because this particular story is all about Prince Andrew, as I say the infamous Newsnight interview. What really does anger me about this is simply this, you know if you've not seen this before it's very annoying with these docudramas, it's a little bit bit like The Crown on Netflix, you know, they have poetic license as they call it, so basically they just make up lies about things that didn't or did happen, with a loose version of the truth. I find this particular segment deplorable and what I would say is I'd call out both ladies to actually come to the fore and verify this actually happened. You see, during the interview, apparently, His Royal Highness the Duke of York made a lurid joke about the disgraced BBC TV presenter Jimmy Savile. That's right. Now, this has never been revealed before at all, never mentioned in Emily's tedious book, and so one might suggest, of course, that is literally a bit of poetic license. Now, given the fact that they were filming every single inch of this particular interview, chat, from the moment that he sat down, Surely this would be on record, and if this was the case, why then is it simply not being broadcast or mentioned before? You see, they're trying to sell a programme that a lot of people are simply not interested in, and trying also to damage the reputation, if that were possible, even further for the Duke of York. What I find literally deplorable is that many people will believe this. Now, allegedly there are quite a few people in the room, so one might suspect that, of course, the former communications director for His Royal Highness the Duke of York, Prince Andrew, Amanda Thirsk, should now step forward and verify whether this happened or not. Either way, it seems very lurid to try and sell a programme based on something that may or may not have happened. Given, of course, the stature and the disgracefulness of the background of the BBC TV presenter Jimmy Savile, who also had his own docudrama made earlier this year, starring the alleged comedian Steve Coogan, one might suggest this is just simply a way of hyping up a drama that literally nobody is interested in. Yes, there'll always be prying eyes, and yes, there are gossip people that want to look into it. It's interesting to note, though, that while it had its premiere at a at cinema in London's West End, Virtually no stars were in attendance. Nobody wants to be tainted or associated with such, shall we say, grubby journalism. And I'm aiming that directly at the two people that are now involved. It's all about them, their ego, and more importantly, what they can get out of it. Neil Sean in the very heart of Yorkshire.